Libra, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be your weekly reading for the week of March 22nd through the 28th. This is a general reading, will not resonate with every Libra. Any, uh, this is not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Libra propensities you may have in your chart, you may find messages that resonate with you. If not, do feel free to check out other sign propensities in your chart. Any information you need will be in the description box. And thank you to everyone who has subscribed. Continue to subscribe. I greatly appreciate that. Jumping right in, Libra. This is for you on March 22nd through 28th. Messages for Libra's greatest and highest good. What do we have for Libra? Libra. Coming in strong here with some of your energy already. Also going to pull a work your light oracle for you at the end as well as a animal oracle card just to give you some more insight for the week right all right what else do we have for libra messages for libra march 22nd through the 28th third week of march already 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 march libra what do we have for libra okay Three more cards for Libra, please. Perfect. Alrighty. Bottom of the deck, Libra, we have the Strength card, Major Arcana, Leo Energy. Could be dealing with Leo, have that in your chart, but this is strength. Having strength to overcome a particular situation, a dynamic, an energy, a vibration, okay, whatever it is for you. Having the strength, the internal strength to overcome, right? Some of you could be also resisting, contacting someone, talking to someone, you know, holding yourself back a little bit, needing some self-restraint in a particular situation, but having the ability to overcome whatever it is that you're overcoming, okay? Beautiful energy. Your first card out past position is the Knight. I mean, what is this? Page of Swords. Sorry. Page of Swords. Air energy. Definitely your energy. It is in the past position. Um, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. But this is spying energy. So whether you're being spied on and you're spying on someone, spying energy. Also researching energy. So you could have been researching something in the past. You know, trying to find out more information, right? This is also communication energy. Some sort of conversation could be from a younger air sign. This also could be you spying on someone in the past, having someone spy on you in the past. Definitely could be someone spying on you, though. Definitely someone from the past is maybe spying on you. You're spying someone from the past. Either way it works. But present position, we have the Empress card, Major Arcana. De definitely beautiful energy. Your energy, Gay Taurus and Libra, fertile energy, growth energy, potential energy. Some of you could be finding that you're pregnant. Definitely. Congratulations if you do. Right? This is just like manure. I know this is a horrible way to say this, but you know, manure is very fertile. You put manure, you put anything in manure and it will grow. Okay. It will grow. It's rich, it's decadent, it's exactly the environment that you need in order to grow things. Human beings, gardens, households, finances, the empress harnesses all that ability to grow, to grow anything, right? She puts her finger to. Beautiful energy. Someone could be spying on you, perceiving you as an empress. Next card out is the star card. Aquarius energy could have that in your chart, but this is a wish fulfillment, right? Wishes coming true, dreams being realized, reaching for the stars, so to speak. Beautiful energy. Healing also could be from a situation, right? But beautiful energy, wish fulfillment energy. So if there's something that you're cultivating right now, if there's something that you're researching, something you're learning about, Something that you're looking to start as far as finances, home, a baby. It's going to be beautiful. Wishes are coming true. You're being aligned. Alignment. All right. Underneath the Page of Swords, we have the Five of Pentacles in the past position. So feeling lonely. If this is someone else that's spying on you this week, they're feeling lonely. That's why they're spying. Or if this is you, however it applies, right? Five of Pentacles also lack mentality. Right? Either actually being lacking, but also very lack mentality, feeling as though you are without, whether it's without a person, place or thing. But definitely someone is maybe feeling alone without you, feeling left out. You've maybe iced them out. So that has, you know, bumped them down to having a spy on you. This is in the past position. This could be you as well. 
you know, feeling alone in the past. You know, if this is some new endeavor that you're in best, you know, you guys were studying or something with that page of swords. If you guys finished school, studying, you know, felt alone, lonely, you know, could be really financially, you know, in the deep end too. But coming out of that, it is in the past position. Underneath the Empress, we have the Four of Cups. Now, this is pertaining to a relationship because I do get that that um, indication as well that this is pertaining to some sort of relationship that might have ended in the past with that Five of Pentacles. That's why you need that strength card to, you know, pick yourself up and move forward. Or this is the person that you ended things with. Missed opportunity type of energy. Someone was focused on the wrong things. Didn't see the blessing that was in front of them. Right? And they're not even happy with what they're focused on anyways. You were the person you're dealing with. This is why this person is spying. This is why this person is feeling alone, perceiving you as the empress. You know, the grass was not greener, in other words. The grass is green wherever the empress is at. So if you miss this, which definitely is empress energy, the empress would not be down here, okay? The other queens would be down here. Queen of swords, queen of wands, queen of pentacles. But the empress, she's this cup. So whoever didn't see this cup being presented to them is probably the one that's spying and feeling very, very lonely right now. Maybe wanting to heal the situation, but I think you're overcoming this. I think you're moving forward, especially with that um, sun, um, sun card. It's funny because I think I just saw the sun card now, especially with this empress energy here, because this is the empress taming the beast, right? Some of you are tired of whatever it is that was not to your level, because if you're being perceived as empress, I mean, that means you got it going on. You got it all. So if there's a situation you have to cut yourself off from, someone you had to remove from your life, definitely missing you here. Feeling lack without you. Definitely missing your presence. Because the empress has quite the presence. Right? You'll definitely feel when she's not around, right? Last card out. Underneath the star card, Major Arcana, the chariot card. Cancer energy could be dealing with the cancer. Someone is wishing and hoping to move forward or you're healing and moving forward. Could go both ways. Whoever misses opportunity is feeling alone, is looking at you now. They're wanting to move towards you. Wanting to move on from the situation and heal. But I also think you're healing from the situation, using your inner strength to overcome whatever it was for you. Wanting to move past the pain, wanting to move past this loneliness that you were in before. Or finally being able to do that, right? We're finally being able to do that, but I definitely think someone wants to move towards you here and heal things. This is their wish. Um, Aquarius, Cancer, Libra, Taurus, Energy could be significant for some of you, but someone definitely wants to move past the loneliness, the coldness, and heal things because they feel like they've missed an opportunity. They let a good one go, right? Wanting to move past that, wanting to heal that, looking, maybe researching ways to you know, approach the situation. Also maybe needing some inner strength as well. That strength could go for them as well, right? You're needing inner strength to move past this situation. They're needing inner strength to overcome this and move forward towards what they're wishing for, which is the Empress, you or whoever it goes. Let's get you the Animal Oracle. What do we have for Libra, please? One card for Libra. Messages for their greatest and highest good. One card for Libra. Libra, okay, three cards. Stag spirit, take the lead. This could be you, this could be advice for you or the person that you're dealing with. Maybe they're being nudged by spirit because this is kind of like, you know, source connecting with you, being connected to source and receiving the messages that source has for you, receiving direction from source, tap by spirit, right? Getting the, the spiritual tap. Someone is being guided to move towards you. Someone is being spiritually advised and aligned to heal things with you. Maybe that's why this person is feeling so lonely, really feeling like they have to reach out and heal things. Stag spirit. Take the lead. Definitely think this is for the person that you're dealing with or whoever side this is on. If this is you that's looking, missing someone, wanting to heal things with somebody, you're being advised. Take the lead. You know what you need to do. Do it. Okay, Coyote Spirit, trust in divine detours. Definitely, situation you maybe weren't expecting to end in this Five of Pentacles energy, right? 
needing to think quickly. Something could have happened abruptly, out of the blue, something you weren't expecting. Needing, leaving you to kind of figure out in a hurry what to do, right? Or this is the person that you're dealing with. Trying to figure out how to fix it, how to heal the situation. Because the divine is pushing them to do it. Okay, you did get an extra card. Porcupine spirit, time for a beginner's mind. So someone needs to learn something new, absolutely. For those of you that are learning something new or just finished school, looking for jobs to become the empress, trying to move forward to your dream job, definitely. You're in alignment for that. Think on your feet. Get creative as well if this is pertaining to work. Maybe if you were studying something with this page of swords here and you're now finished school or whatever, you've graduated, you're ready to move into your dream job and whichever, definitely being encouraged to use your imagination. There might be some other sort of way you could use what you've learned to, you know, create another dream, another type of job that you maybe weren't, you know, thinking of. Definitely listen to your intuition, meditate, tap in. Spirit maybe has something for you. Okay, time for a beginner's mind. If this is this person that's wanting to come in and heal things, because the page of swords is also communication, a conversation, right? Information coming into you. Spirit is advising you to listen. Be open-minded. It doesn't mean forgive and allow this person back in your life, but just maybe by listening, you're going to be able to heal whatever it is. If this is also you when that was in the Five of Pentacles energy, you're going to be able to heal that even for yourself and move forward, right? Time for a beginner's mind. But you can't use the same mind that created the problem to fix it, right? So they say. One card for Libra, please. What do you have for Libra? Messages for their greatest and highest good. Okay. See? Align your life. What is not aligned and needs to change? Definitely. Someone is being aligned. Someone has been aligned. Whether this is for your new future job, your new future career, whether this is someone in a relationship that you are no longer speaking to, you had to put on the outs, right? They're being touched, they're being nudged, they're being advised. This is something that's destined. Okay, what is not aligned or needs to change? Okay, those are the messages I have for you, Libra. Hopefully you found them helpful. If you do, thumbs up the video for me. And until next time, my cards.